what else do you know about uh, I think I know acting. Can you show us? I really know very well. Uh, Mr. Legaspi, what do you know anything else about art rather than dancing? I know drawing. Can you show us? That's a nice chef. <laughs> now for our next speaker, may we call on Mr. Yu. I believe everyone can read. Yes? Can we all read what's on the screen? Thank you, thank you. So, as you've all said, arts, it is mostly defined for people as the combination, expression, or application of human creative skills or imagination. Um, it's mostly on the visual presentations wherein they're appreciated through their aesthetic appeal or their beauty. But then, I won't focus on that for it's been presented a while ago by Mr. Villegas. Please focus on what's on the screen. These are the normal activities that we mostly do. Dancing, cooking, uh, artworks, and even singing. These are examples of contemporary art. These are some of their forms. And we are considered the artists of today. But then, what's contemporary art? Contemporary art, according to the J. Paul Jetty Museum, is the modern art created by the modern artists living today. It's not actually appreciated by its appeal or by its beauty, but mostly by how interesting or how challenging the artworks look like. We have many purposes on why we create contemporary art. Some do it to record history, to highlight current events, for entertainment and amusement, or to show religion and culture. But mostly, people do it to earn it. People do it to earn money, to increase their living. And some, we use it for self-expression and for the freedom of opinion. It is a subject in our class and we use it to get good grades. Actually, I, I got a B in contemporary arts that broke my card. We are allowed to choose on what activities we create, and these activities are what we do, and this is how we excel. Can I see a raise of hands of those people who've tried to impress someone? Please raise your hands. <laughs> Be it a girl, a family member, your parents, or even your enemies just to keep them sharp. <laughs> Okay, so what was that? We ourselves are forms of art. We are created by our parents. How this way? These people, they also created art. Why? To help. To awaken the social status of everyone. To help everyone realize what's happening in our country. That's their contemporary art. Every art has its own purpose. And these people use that to help fight for our freedom and for the change that we want. Every art is a masterpiece. 
no matter how simple, no matter how bland, no matter how unappealing to you or how stunning to the person beside you. All we need is respect. We don't want to be criticized for what we do or for our works, so let's not criticize other people in a wrong way. Let's show our respect by remaining silent or by looking at it simply just like that. Arts can give us more things, but contemporary art helps relate more people to what we do because it's understandable and relatable by most of the people that are present right now. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dirty, for speaking to us.